some roots. It is cold today. Burr, my ears are cold. I should have worn my ear warmers. Slow down, Khaleesi. <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm moving fast. I'm gonna get to my little house and get in the warm, cozy hay fast as I can. Whew, I'm gonna have to put my hood on. When I was editing my vlog from yesterday, I noticed that my face is really dark when I have my hood up and I didn't, I didn't like that. It wasn't good picture quality, so I'm gonna put this hood up as soon as I'm done with this clip. Ooh, it's cold. Scrumptious, you are ridiculous. She was just making little puppy whimpering sounds. Look at her eyes flickering. She's dreaming. <laughs> she must be having an exciting dream. <laughs> it sounded like puppy whimpering. I was hoping I could capture it. You look at her little eyes and cheeks moving. She's so funny. How do you sleep like that? <laughs> oh, she's a funny one. Oh, I don't want to disturb them. I want to pet them so bad though. I'm sure they'll be up in a little bit once mama's done with her breakfast. Baby goats are the best thing in the entire world. Oh, it's gonna be hard to leave for four days with this cuteness. Oh, my farm setter is really happy. She has baby goats to cuddle while she's here, so that's good. <laughs> and these two ladies are doing well. Hearty appetites. They are hungry, hungry hippos. Keeping them well fed. They're getting a full scoop to keep their milk production up. Well, sister's future milk production. Hopefully she'll be going into labor today. Ryan says he thinks it'll be today, so crossing fingers she does she does look pregnant I'm gonna go back and look at my videos and make sure I didn't somehow mark her due date wrong she was one of the ones that I did mark the due date on so should have been pretty accurate I'm usually pretty good when I remember to mark it but she has a little bit of discharge here and there but not much at all ladies be nice plenty of food for both of you so we'll see ligaments are still tightish they're not absolutely tight but they're not soft by any means so they can go fast though we had one goat that never even lost his ligaments before going into labor or after like when you felt the ligaments after labor if they were still hard as a rock it was the weirdest thing I had a bunch of goat people tell me that was impossible and I said well I felt it holy crap oh, I missed it I wonder if I had the image on her while it was happening. Look at her little belt. She's nursing in her sleep. She's sleeping with her eyes open. I do that too. Liam does too. How funny. Oh my gosh, baby goats are the best thing in the world. <laughs> I got smart today and I'm using my cell phone flashlight because these stalls are so dark. Okay, I'm disturbing the sleep. I don't want to disturb their sleep. Let them get the rest. Okay, Mama, I'll leave them alone. She's fine. She's just dreaming. <laughs> Cute goats. And as you can see, why we call Kitty our cow, she's definitely going to have to be milked out again this morning. Not all the way, but enough to get relief because those babies can't nurse on that. That would be too hard. It's really hard, like rock hard. So she's really engorged. Look at that beautiful udder, though. It's always a little bit lopsided, but I think that's because of the babies, not her. Because when she's not with babies, her udder's very even. So, beautiful attachment. Great capacity. Wonderful, easy to grip teats. I love this udder. I love this girl, too. But that udder, that udder, though. That udder, though. This is why... My goats are not going out today. The sun might be out, but I don't know. The temperature is really low. Everything is very wet. And I don't know if you can hear that wind, 
but it is blowing through the trees like crazy and it is just so cold and windy that wind just cuts right through and their shelter used to have three plastic walls but you could probably hear that wind because that's probably interfering with the mic but those uh <laughs> goats ripped off their three plastic walls we had every intention of putting them back on just never got around to it but um that would be a good wind shelter if it had the three walls, but without them, there's no wind shelter for them out here. So everybody else is staying under the tarped area for the most part, and just trying to keep them warm in the barn. <laughs> Even Red, the free range rooster, is in here. He's like, it's too cold out there. Hi. I know you, you're eating plenty of hay today. Staying warm. I know it. Hi. How are those babies? Huh? I'm just coming down here to check on sister. See if she's progressed at all. Make sure that the babies are eating and doing well. See, the little girl is always up and the little boy is always sleeping. Ryan insists it's just personality differences. It's got me nervous. Sister does look more sunken in on the sides, like the babies have dropped. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go in and check her ligaments. When I went in there, I went over to the little boy and noticed that he was actually shivering a little bit, just a little bit, like not the whole time, just like an occasional shiver, and so, picked him up and I rubbed him and just made sure he felt warm and cozy and then I made him nurse and he stopped sharing so I have to hold him right up under mama before he gets interested in nursing so oh sister silly you can tell she's so much different oh get away from the water buddy Oh, that's making me nervous. Maybe I need to move that. We do not want a drowned kid. I don't know how I could suspend it somewhere or something. Maybe just put it up on a block. They are so cute. All of the goats are mad at me because I'm not letting them out. Sister Ray, why are you doing this to me? Huh? Are you actually do or are you just not do? Is that what it is? I have your due date wrong? Who knows? At this point. Maybe she wasn't bred when I thought she was. See, the little girl, she's been nursing two or three times since I've been in here and all on her own. I don't have to encourage her at all. She just goes to town. I guess Ryan's right though. Different personality types will definitely act different for everything. Right, sister? Now go into labor. Kitty, you have a talk with her. Tell her how it's done, please. Yes, you. You need a lecture. You need a lecture. Well, everybody is doing well, and for that, I am grateful. There's no serious issues happening. I'm just probably worrying more than I need to about the little buckling and making sure he's okay. But it is good to have a watchful eye on these things. You should follow your gut and pay attention to that nagging thought in the back of your head. Like the one that's making me wonder if Sister A is not actually bred for this weekend. <laughs> this past weekend. Duh. She should have already get it. But, you know, these things are not in my control. I am doing everything I can and should. And whatever happens after that happens. And I just have to trust that God will make everything happen in the way that he has planned because I can't worry myself like that. 
Thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.